You can find all my videos in chronological order and tons of other helpful appliance repair stuff at BritishJames.com So welcome back to BritishJames.com This is video 13, Whirlpool Washer Repair So what we're going to do now is remove the pump and the motor so we can get to the transmission So in this video we're going to get the pump and the motor out of the way Real straightforward and simple Two clips holding in the pump you pop those off like so and pull the pump off the motor shaft right here let's see if we can get this out of the way there for the moment take your clips out of the way right here you have two 5 16 uh, bolts on some models they have quarter inch bolts but it's going to be one or the other let's whip those off out of the way Alright, next thing we're going to do is on the side of this motor, on this particular model, is a capacitor. And a capacitor will still be holding electricity <coughs> even though uh, the machine has been unplugged for a while. We need to discharge that capacitor. I'm going to show you how to do it. It has two terminals on it with a pair of insulated needle nose pliers. Pull the connectors off. And in my earlier videos, um, probably video three or four, I show you how to do this also. And then with an insulated screwdriver, the two terminals on the capacitor without touching the metal around it, we want to join those together and actually short the capacitor out. Now sometimes, even though the machine is unplugged, it will spark at you. But as long as you've completely connected these two terminals on the capacitor together, it now becomes safe. Next thing to get the uh, motor out of the road, we've got a clip here and a clip here. I'm going to pop with a screwdriver the lower one, and then holding the motor so it doesn't fall on the floor and break. We're going to pop the top one. Take out the top clip. Undo the wiring harness off the motor. And we can remove the motor completely out of the way. And there we go, there's your motor. And again, in the first couple of three videos for this series, I show you how to change the coupling. Remember, if you go to BritishJames.com, you can see all of the videos in sequence. Um, each machine has its own page for its own videos. Alright, on the uh, next video, we are actually going to pull the transmission out. So I'm going to rearrange the camera, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks. And don't forget, BritishJames.com is loaded with well-organized info to help you get your appliance up and running today.